Hey, get out of here. Go on. I don't need your stench in here stinking the place up, scaring my customers away. What are you looking at? I don't need these bums out here in front of my store. Why don't you make yourself useful? Take these rolls, take them out to the dumpster now, will ya? This place is starting to look like my kid's bedroom. Sir, are you okay? Me? Uh, yeah, um, I... Are you hungry? These are still pretty fresh. I promise, it's not trash. This is really good. Thank you. you know, if you just wait right here, I, I can get you some water too. Hey, didn't I run you off? Get out of here, now! Wait, Manny, it's okay. No, it's not okay. We can't give our food to these people. Well, why not? We were just gonna throw these old rolls out anyway. You don't get it, do you? You give one person some food today and you got 10 of them in line getting a handout tomorrow. Come on, what are you waiting for? Get up, come on, what are you okay. waiting for? Get out of here. Manny, was that really necessary? Oh, don't be a sucker, Julie. These people, they're just con men or they're leeches. And they wanna feed off the rest of us. How could you say that? You can't judge someone before you get to know them. What you need to know is we're not giving our food to these people, all right? And the next time I catch you doing it, you're fired. Now get back to work, will you? Hungry? I know you. No, no, I, I, I don't want to get you in trouble again. Look, my boss can't get mad at me. I paid for the sandwich myself. Well, well then you, you should have it. It's fine. Really, I want you to have it. Thank you. I have to ask. Why do you keep on coming back here, even after my boss has chased you away so many times? I wish I could tell you, but my memory just ain't no good ever since... Ever since? Four, four years ago, I, I, I woke up in a hospital bed with no memory of how I got there. The doctors said they found me outside the hospital with some kind of head injury. I guess they figured I must have had some kind of accident or something. That's so scary. And you never found any friends or family who could maybe piece it back together or... No, no. N not because I didn't try, but, you know, with no ID, no money, no, no real memory. You know, well, it, it just makes it kind of hard. I bet. But you remember the store. I don't know why. I have no real memories of my life before the accident, but there's just something about this place that feels really familiar. Like I belong here. I just can't place it. Well, maybe I could help. Hey, I Julie, could try. didn't I warn you? Okay, Manny, it's not what it looks like. No, what it looks like is that you're giving that bum more food. Okay, first of all, he's not a bum, he's a person. And second of all, I paid for that sandwich myself. No, that's not the point, Julie. The point is you keep encouraging people like him to come in for handouts. And after I told you not to. Look, you don't understand. This gentleman, he could barely remember. You don't remember. You don't remember what I said I'd do if I caught you do it again. Okay, please. Wait, I, I need this no, job. No, it's over. No more. You're fired. I feel really terrible that I got you fired. It's fine. It's just a job. And besides, he was never going to promote me anyway, so I'm better off. 
You know, I'm a really good researcher. My best friend, she's a beat reporter for The Times, and I help her all of the time. I'm sure I could find more information about your life. You would do that for me even after I got you fired? Why? First, everyone deserves help once in a while. And second, I love a good mystery. <laughs> well, knock yourself out. I won't hold it against you if you can't find anything. Trust me. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Well, you were right. Wait, did you find something? I had to go digging through some hard copies, but I think your friend with the memory issues might just be the missing Hampton brother. I'm sorry, am I supposed to know who that is? It was big news a few years back. The Hamptons are one of the richest families in town, and the oldest sibling, a man named Patrick, mysteriously vanished one summer night. And for some time, people thought it was a kidnapping, a ransom sort of thing, but police never found any leads and assumed he just ran away. Wow. Okay, wait, wait. Wait, that's him. <gasps> Julie, this is nuts. You're handing me the biggest story of the year. My editor is gonna freak out. I don't know if I'll ever be able to repay you for something like this. Well, I have one idea. And it might make your big story even better. Patrick? Oh my God, it is you, Patrick! <laughs> Patrick, that's my name, isn't it? After all these years, it's really you. I can't believe it. And you're uh, my sister. My sister Moira. Yes. <laughs> Do you know how long we've searched for you? The police tried to tell us that you'd run away. I never believed that. How did you find me? Oh, it's thanks to Julie. I don't even know how to begin to thank you. Hey. I, I can't believe it. You got some nerve. I told you not to come around here anymore. Okay, Manny, just wait one second. No, I'm done. I'm calling the police, and I'm gonna get them involved. Wait, is there some sort of problem? Yes, there's some sort of problem. He's a bum, he keeps coming around here, and she keeps enabling him. I think I can explain to you why he keeps coming back to the spot. You see, my family, we own this entire shopping center, and well, Patrick, he worked at the sandwich shop every summer when he was a teenager. That's right. I did. <laughs> oh, well, uh, can you tell me why I should care? Because in addition to owning this entire shopping center, we also own the sandwich shop. And I don't think we want someone like you managing our business. Wait, <laughs> uh, look. Consider uh, yourself fired. You, you don't want to do that. She just did. You can have it. I guess your shop needs a new manager. Yes, perhaps someone that's shown such kindness and brilliance in reuniting me with my family. You're offering me the management job, really? It's the least I can do to repay you for all that you've done. What do you say? Yes, I accept. <laughs> I accept, thank you. <laughs> Oh, sounds like someone's going to need another sandwich. I'll take one if you don't mind. <laughs> Spare some change? Uh, I, I don't need much. Just can't enough. help you, man. All right, I have a really important meeting today, and I can't be late. Please, I, I only need a couple No, what more. you need is to learn how to help yourself, because you're not getting anything from me. Uh, uh. Oh, excuse me, sir. Hey, could you help me get this couch just to the curb right there? It'll only take like a second or two. That's a second or two too long. Next time, ask your husband to help you. But actually, my husband... That sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. But I... Listen, get... lady, I have somewhere to be, all right? So spare me the sob stories. Excuse me, sir. Do you happen to know how to change a tire? I sure do. Wait, can you show me how to do it? Do I look like your father? Maybe he should have taught you. 
Then you wouldn't be stuck. Yeah, maybe I wouldn't be if he had it. Save it for someone who has the time to care. Okay? Come on, come on. Finally. Ooh. Would you mind helping an old woman across the street? I'm already late. <laughs> you were already crossing anyway, and would it be too much of a bother? Fine, but let's put some pep in that step. Mm, what's the rush? I'm up for a big promotion, actually, and my boss hates it when people are late. Oh, that certainly sounds exciting. Why are you even out here when you can't cross the street by yourself? Shouldn't you have someone helping you? I used to. Me and my husband, we used to do everything together. But he passed away. Now that he's gone, all the things we used to do together, I have to do all by myself. Sorry for your loss. It's taken some getting used to, but I'm managing the best way I can. Well, your husband sounds like he was a good man. He was. You actually remind me of him just a bit. I do? How so? He always liked to go out of his way to help strangers, even when he had something else to do, just like you're helping me right now. I hope you don't mind my asking, but why would he waste so much time helping people that he didn't even know? I think he loved making people happy. You should have seen the smile on his face. Just like the smile on your face right now. You have a great smile. You should wear it more. But there had to have been something more in it for him than just a smile, oh, right? Oh, yes, oh, yes. He loved hearing people's stories. He would always be learning things. You know what he'd say? He'd say, a stranger in need is just a friend you haven't met yet. Is that so? Everybody has a story. And most of them are better than what you would see on TV. Uh -huh. <laughs> <Don't you? laughs> Everybody needs help every now and again, even from somebody they don't know. My husband, he would love to be that person to provide that help whenever he could. Well, I'll, I'll try to remember that. Thank you so much for being kind to an old lady. Now you go on and get that promotion. All right now. Thank you. Thank you. Can I help you with that? Yes, please. Thank you. Yeah, uh, sometimes these lug nuts can be a little tricky at first. But once you get the first one, Ugh. The rest become a lot easier. And, and last but not least. And there you go. Nothing to it but some elbow grease. <laughs> you know what you asked me about before? About why my dad didn't teach me how to change a tire? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. It's okay. The thing is, my dad passed away when I was little. And as wonderful as my mom is, there were just some things she didn't know to teach me. Like how to change a tire. That, uh... That doesn't sound easy. Well, you're all set. Well, <laughs> thank you so much. Really. Here, let me help you with that. Thank you for coming back to help. Yeah, don't mention it. And I'm sorry I was such a jerk to you earlier. You didn't deserve that. I can't tell you how good it feels to be rid of this couch. Oh yeah? It was my husband's, he loved it. I always hated the look of it. Well, isn't he gonna be upset that you're throwing it out? Well, he should have thought about that before he left me for another woman. 
We were together 10 whole years. And then poof, it's over. Just like that. Well, if you want, I could find some matches and we could torch it. <laughs> that would really show them. I appreciate the thought, but I think I'm good with just throwing it out. Thank you for everything. It was really nice talking to you. Uh, uh, hey, man. What's wrong? It's my daughter's birthday, you see, and I promised her I would be there. Uh, but I don't have enough money to get a, a train ticket, and the last one leaves in 10 minutes. My daughter will never forgive me. Oh, uh, this was my last chance. Oh. What do you mean? Uh, 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 I, I, I haven't always been the, the best father. I, I got hooked on drugs, and, and, and she, she was taken away from me and given to my ex-wife. Uh, oh, but. But now, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm finally six months clean, and, and I, I wanted to show her that, that I changed. But now, it's all over. Uh, How much do you need for a ticket? Five dollars. <laughs> this is too much. Then use it to get some food or a present for your daughter. Please, I insist. Why are you helping me? Well, a wise person once told me that a stranger is just a friend that you haven't met yet. So this is me helping a friend. Besides, it's the least I can do after I was so rude to you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Shoot, the meeting. I'm really looking for a manager. Sorry, I'm leak. Sorry isn't gonna cut it. You're 20 minutes late. I know, I got uh, caught up helping some people out this morning. <laughs> <laughs> you helping someone. <laughs> That's a likely story. Josh, you would never help a stranger. But it's true. There was a woman who needed help crossing the street. There was another woman who needed help changing oh, her tire. Come on, Josh. You're already late. Now you're just lying. Now you're just digging yourself into a deeper hole. But it's not a lie. There was another woman who needed her couch moved. There was a man who needed a train ticket. And, and to think I was going to promote you to manager today. <sighs> Sir. I earned that promotion. Yes, you did. But how can I promote you when I can't depend on you to be on time or to even tell the truth? Listen, a manager is someone that puts others in front of themselves. And let's face it, with your track record, you're not the best in that regard. I'm sorry, Josh, but uh, excuse me. Mother, hey. All right, ma'am. Oh, it's so good to see you. Yes, yeah, so, uh, this meeting will be over soon, mm -hmm. and then I can take you to lunch. Good. Yeah. It's you again. Um, sorry, uh, how do you know Josh? He was kind enough to help me cross the street today. We had a lovely conversation about your father. Mm -hmm. Doesn't he remind you of him? Just a little. He's got the same tender spirit. Well, uh, I guess I never noticed. Josh, I want to apologize for doubting you. Oh, I completely understand. 
sir. And my mother is a great judge of character. So if she vouches for you, then the promotion's yours. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> really. Thank you, sir. You won't regret this. No, I won't. Come on! You gotta be kidding me! Sorry about that, mister. Sorry? You just wasted $40 worth of food. Sorry isn't gonna fix it. You know, you people are the worst. You're gonna pay me back for that wasted food. But I, I, I got no money. Ooh, who? Well, you better figure out something fast or I'm calling the cops. You know what? It's a nice pendant. I'll tell you this. You give me that, and we'll call it even. I can't. It, it, it means too much to me. I've worn this every day of my life since I was 18. Blah, blah, blah. I didn't ask for your whole life story. I'll make it simple for you. Either you give it to me, or I'll call the cops and report you for vagrancy and uh, public drinking. Miss, please. Have a heart. I, I just can't. It's too important. Well, when you put it like that, I understand. Have it your way. Please, mister. Don't do this to me. It's the only thing I have left. Hello, police? Yeah, I'd like to report a crime. Yeah, the suspect's Okay, okay, theory. okay, okay, okay. Thank you for your time. Here. Ooh. Well, that's nice. Hey. It looks better on me anyway, huh? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Come on now. Don't be like that. Cheer up. Have a good day. Hey, Pop, I'm home. Hey, Pop, you did. Oh, sorry. You snuck up on me. Pop, I thought we talked about this. You can't sit around all day looking at old stuff from the war. It isn't good for you. Neither's forgetting. Yes, I, I know. Uh, Listen, Bob, ever since you adopted me, I could remember you sitting around looking at old photos and memorabilia, but you never talked about your experience over there. I, I know you went through a lot over there, but I think you should leave the past in the past. <laughs> if only it were that easy. Every day, I have to live knowing that I survived. And so many others did. Where did you get that? Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Where did you get it? It's just from some homeless guy down at the plaza. Homeless? Yeah. Uh, Pop, calm down. What, what's uh, wrong? I want you to take me to him. Take you where? The man you got that pendant from. Let's go! Pop, just... just... Oh, no. There oh, he is. No, 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 no. He's still got a pulse. I think he's got alcohol poisoning. Call an ambulance. Oh, come on, Dan. Why is this guy so important to you? Just call an ambulance. All right. We're going to get you some help. Just hold on a little longer. Hello, 911? Any progress? Nothing yet. Bob, you can talk to me. Who is this man to you? Someone I never thought I'd see again. It's time I tell you about my time in the war. You see, the enemy had taken our position and decimated our squad. I was shot multiple times and was bleeding out. Thankfully, 
a soldier from another squad, a man I'd never met, carried me over half a mile on his back to the field hospital. The doctors told me if I had gotten there even one minute later, I wouldn't have survived. I was being prepped for surgery and barely conscious. But the soldiers saw how scared I was. Right before surgery, he gave me a part of a pendant he wore as a lucky charm. He promised it would help get me through the surgery, and I promised I'd give it back to him when I was healed. He left to save more men, and I never saw him again. So you see, it wasn't just a pendant that he gave me. It was the gift of hope, and it worked. It got me through my long recovery and the rest of the war. Without him, I wouldn't be here today. And you wouldn't be here with me today. I searched for him every day since, but I never found him. I assumed he was killed in action, at least until you came home with that pendant. I can't believe it. I mean, I treated him so poorly, and I, I should have helped him. Oh, no. It's not you again. Don't call the cops on me, man. I, I gave you everything I had. I know. I know. You know, that pendant was my most prized possession. That wasn't good enough for you. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know what else. Listen, sir, I'm, you're safe now. I'm here to apologize to you. The way I treated you, I'm... I'm truly ashamed. Look, I want to give this back to you. Yes. Yes, I, I took advantage of you, and I am just truly sorry. I also have something I need to give back to you. Who are you? What in the... Is, is it really you? I have been looking for you for almost 40 years, <laughs> and I finally found you. And I can finally thank you for saving my life. Oh, I did what was needed. Anyone would have done the same. No, not just anyone would have done what you did. You gave me hope when I needed it most. And there is Nothing I can ever say that would ever thank you enough. Oh, I don't know what to say. You don't need to say a thing. Mm -hmm. You don't have to ever worry about being hungry or being homeless ever again. When you get out of here, we want you to come stay with us. <laughs> no, 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 it's too much, too much, too much. Oh, no, it's nonsense. I mean, you saved my father. If you hadn't done that, then I wouldn't live the life I have today. Please, it's the least we can do on behalf of what you've done for me and my family. So what do you say? Okay. I'll come and stay with you. <laughs> thank you so much. No, thank you, my friend. Thank you. <laughs>